Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Curse of Dreadbear plushies. So we got Jack O'Bonny. Yeah, he looks pretty good. And Dreadbear. Yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at him, but thumbs up. Let's get into it. Okay, we got the plushies and the figures on the side. So I plan on getting the glitch trap first, because in my opinion, that's my favorite. This event is called Funkoween, halfway to Hollow's Eve. Next, we got Jack Obami. So I think he looks pretty good. I wish they used this model on the original Nightmare Bonnie, but I guess that'll have to do. I really like the muzzle, the jaw. They have a really small bow tie this time. And one normal eye and one no eye. And his ears are really closer together. He got like that detail on the legs and stuff. In the back, he has like a few witherings. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I like how his cheeks look. His ears look really good. Um, Yeah, I really approve of this. Okay, now we got Dreadbear. I think he looks fairly good. I like the eyebrow. That's really a key detail. Um, the bullets too. He has like stitching all over his body, his chest and his ear. Yeah, um, the tiny bow tie again. And the withering on the chest, which I really like. You can see the endoskeleton, the glowing eyes. To be fair, this is a really good plush. I really like how they made Dreadbear approve. Oh, that is the Dreadbear plushies. The fabric they're made of, I think it's really good. The material's really good. Um, I like how they made the plushies, how they made it unique from the other series, and overall, they're really good.